Good morning, and welcome back to Fire Emblem. The Sacred Echoes A Fire Emblem 8 ROM Hack by Hypergamous Faces. I'm your host, Pandan, and today we're going to continue on into Ram Valley Pass. Look at this world map, man. What a technical marvel this game is. Alright, so last time, yeah, we promoted everyone. I made some questionable class choices. Actually, not really. Cav Cliff is probably the only thing that's questionable, but that'll give him some utility, even if his combat doesn't do super well. This only goes to Act 1, so it's not the end of the world if things don't work out. It's one of the things with like class choices like this, man, is that I definitely struggle to pick less optimal ones because I'm bad at Fire Emblem. Mm -hmm. Um, look up there. Oh, here he is. It's the Leather Shield Merc. That uniform looks like a Sophian soldier. Is he one of the Say's men? Yes, we'll see more of them now that we're nearing the southern outpost. Seems the Say's men have hired brigands to hold the valley for them. This will be a tricky fight. I'm ready. Thracian music. Alright, let's see. So... We have an extra lockpick, which is very generous of Gamma to give us. But I think we're okay. Yeah, let's, um... I think, as much as I think Acantha will benefit from having the Iron Sword, I think Cliff will probably make a little bit better use of it right now. 6, 7, 10, 8, 9, 10. Yeah, Cliff is going to get a little bit more out of that. I mean, Alm will probably get the most out of it, but... Alright. Take a closer look at that shoulder. He's armed with a leather shield. They do with Kalan blows on him. We can take the shield for ourselves, if we manage to defeat him. Can Acantha steal the shield? No, she's not fast enough. A tough leather shield. Defense plus three. Heck, it's a shield. Alright, boys. I like that this is just like a smaller version of the original map. I think that's good, because the original map was just really big. Alright, I probably should have done my preps a little bit better. But we can make this work. Can you pick him up? Yes. Okay, so we can do... Now this is like the main reason why I went, ca went Cavalier at all. Is to do some stuff that you can't do in Gaiden. Can you pick up Cliff? Can't. Okay. This is fine. This music is so good. Gamma did a great job with the midis because he remixed a lot of them. So there's tracks that are original, or not original, but like, they're. I mean, the tracks are like halfway between the Gaiden and the SOV versions, which are really cool. Alright, let's see. Terrain is a good idea. Well, I like this idea. We're gonna... These, these guys are gonna work together. Check this out, check this out, check out these strats! Check out these strats, boys. Alright, I can't trade my way my sword, but I can do this. One thing that I think is gonna... That will need to be worked on more... Will be... Figuring out, like, making effective weapons a bit better, that was not a good miss, Tobin. Because, because the, um... Because the damage output is really low, or rather the might on weapons is really low, it makes effective weapons kind of noodly. So I'm curious, like, if you could, like... It's one of those things where it's like, is it worth... Oh crap, I forgot that you have to promote.
I micromanage so heavily in this game. But like because the might is so low on those effective weapons, they're not going to be very good as effective weapons. I mean, I'll see for myself. That's just kind of my thought going into this. There we go. All right, we're going back promoting him. Do you have an iron bow? No, so I'm not scared of you. Come on, Faye. It's weird playing without the triangle and just knowing that, like, oh, I can do this without really risking anything. Kind of relearning how to play Fire Emblem a bit. It's not every day your Pegasus Knight takes two damage from a Brigand. Skill. I love that the guy goes over the mountain and that those cliffs are there next to him so that he will actually take the mountain path to get to you. Brilliant AI manipulation. Alright. I got a boogie. Look at Lucas doubling. It's fantastic. So good. Alright, let's see. Can I can't the snag? No, she can't. Um, almond. Let's this one to Alm. Woohoo! Fancy crit! Super casual. Okay, Cliff. Thank you, sir. All right. Now I need to try and cut off some of these brigands here. Heal up, Tobin. I might turn the animations off just for a short while. But the palettes are really nice to look at. Okay. So that... I think Gamma... These guys should charge me. I shouldn't have to just keep walking to them. I would recommend these guys... AI, their AI changes to charge within two range so they start moving. I think that might be a little bit better because now it's kind of like I have to like push super hard to get anywhere and it just creates like a lot of enemy phase action which I'm not as crazy about seven seven can you pick this guy off yeah I've never done Cav Gray. So far, it seems to be okay. I f in, the in the original games, I feel like it's so hard to not go Mercenary because the stats are so dominant. But I think Cav, Cav and Peg become way more appealing choices in the context of just like GBA because of Rescue. Oh, he's coming back. The tricky part with the Leather Shield Merc is figuring out, like, how do I pin him? Usually what I try to do is, like, pin him in a spot where I can, like... Usually with, like, Almond Lucas. And then pelt him mostly with... Um... Silk and... Tobin. Or whoever I'm using as magic units. When I played, when I played Shadows of Valentia, I had Tobin as a mage, but when I played Gaiden, I had him as a mercenary. I actually ran all mercs when I played Gaiden. Which is not very exciting, but it is effective. Okay. I think we're fine.
Yeah, we'll take that weapon triangle, actually. Just get these guys cleared out. Once everyone promotes, I usually just go ham with Alm, because then the level curve, I think, starts to get a little bit better. Like, your unit, once you promote, your units, like, if you're promoted by here, you're generally in a pretty good place, if I recall correctly. Cliff, how'd you fall so far behind? Cantha. There she is. Let's go. Woohoo, speed. Alright, let's see. Tobin. I wonder when Tobin gets Excalibur. I forget. I know it's soon. Okay. Luke's putting in so much work. I hope he gets speed on the next level up. That'd be tight. Now we'll heal. It's funny that Nosferatu is under black magic. Isn't it under- is it technically- isn't it under white magic in the original? I guess white magic's just like supporting spells in this. But... Okay. But it's under black magic, but like the animations were skinned to be like holy looking. It's very cool. Alright. Okay, the loop around. Alright, we're doing fine here. Everyone's doing their job. Oh, he's coming back. What's this guy in the mountain doing? Oh, you visited the mill shrine to chase out the bandits? How lovely. You're making us believers feel more safer. Take this amulet and may the mother protect you. Meet a talisman. I question how useful a talisman will be. At this juncture, because I haven't seen any magic enemies yet, but I'm sure it'll be fine. Nope. Uh oh, uh oh. Abort, abort, abort. I tried, guys. Let's see, can Alm do this? Come on, Alm. Okay, rescue dropping makes oh, you can just do so many different so many riskier plays It's great praise rescue dropping guys Okay goes for Faye get out of here. I Feel like arch is just hardwired to go for pegs mm -hmm. I wonder how it would be to go all mounts in Gaiden. Or in SOV. Or in Sacred Echoes, I should say. Let's see. Alright, so that's good. Heal him up. So I feel like in this chapter. There's less pressure than on the in the original because the original is bigger, so it took longer for you to clear out all of these dudes on this side. So by the time you did, like the Merc was like way closer, and now he's just kind of like in his little spot here. It's like almost like he just kind of walks around the mountain as like an homage to the original. But really, like if you play like remotely quickly, he just kind of like does this little dosy do around. Okay, so we're gonna try and bait him into the corner. Mm 
heal up. Alright, ideally he will go for Om. Um. Just a lot of waiting. Oh heck. Rescue drop ping, so effective. <laughs> I need to get him into the spot. But I don't know if that's going to be as, as, as effective if I can get him there. It's kind of a risk. What are you saying, though? Getting doubled and taking not that much damage. Because I don't want him to... Once he has axe to the mountain, it's over. All right, all I can do is hope that he goes below. Hit me from the down low. Yes. Nothing personal, kid. <laughs> I love it. Classic. Is that what he actually says in game? Yeah, this guy's super annoying. Guy has some very memorable faceless bosses. Perfect. This is what we needed. So we can do this. There we go. Silk. Yeah, we can just keep chipping away. We can heal up bomb when it's time. All right, now it's just like a slow, slow grind to the end. Does Akanta get doubled here? No, nah, she doesn't. Okay. So we're gonna do this. Heal up um, just so he's topped off. In case anything goes awry. Acantha is fine there. Let's do Tobin. This leather shield guy is like the primary reason why you at least want one dude with magic. Alright, Lucas, and then ooh, we can give it to Faye. If I, I don't think we'll be able to get Faye to promote in Act 1. I don't even know if the Falconite is ready. But it's worth trying. Power peg, man. Tick. Alright, that was much smoother than the original. Skill, luck, defense. Alright, alright. We did it. And we got the hide shield. Bonus experience. The valley's clear still, that wasn't easy. You have my thanks. We'll soon reach the southern outpost, which is under Deliverance control. Once we've rejoined our comrades, the fights ahead will become much easier. Comrades, huh? I wonder what they're like. I'm excited to meet them. Ing, Sir Lucas. It's good to see you made it back safely. I recognize you. You were stationed at the outpost. Has something happened? Why are you here? Forgive us, Sir Lucas, but the tides turned after you left and we were forced to abandon the outpost. I'm afraid Lady Clara was taken captive. To say his men hold her there even now. What? Claire? Gods, how could this happen? Lucas. This is my fault. Lady Claire is new to military command. I should have left her in more experienced hands. Don't blame yourself, Lucas. Sir Clive sent you to Ram Village, right? You didn't have a choice. If blame lies with anyone, it's him. 
Many dots. Regardless, standing here accomplishes nothing. We need a plan. I assume this Claire person is still alive, right? In that case, we just have to take back the southern outpost and save her. Oh, hey, that's a great idea. Wait, what? How are we supposed to become a fortress from trained royal soldiers? I don't know, but we have to find a way. Otherwise, our journey is already over. Here and now, we make our decision. We live our lives as simple villagers, or we fight on as soldiers of the deliverance. But, um... Okay, good speech. Here, here. What have we got to lose? Let's do it. Bray? Tobin. Listen, just stop and think about this. I know it's hard, but try. Claire's a girl, and if we save a girl... Hey, you follow? Can't believe you're the same man who mocks the fact that I fight for gold. Yes, because it's gold. This is girls. Don't you like girls? Oh, Gray. I mean, I admit they're not bad. <laughs> you see? <laughs> it's a good reaction. Tobin, what do you think about hacks? I mean, they're not all bad. You speak the same language, so you're in, right? I don't know what to say except thank you. You're very brave to do this. Deliverance is lucky to have you. Same goes for you, Lucas. One thing, um... You may be right that some of the blame lies with Sir Clive, but please, tread soft to them regardless. Lady Clara is his younger sister. I'm sure no one's head is hanging lower than his own right now. Oh, Lucas, I, I'm sorry, you're right. Alright, so that was Ram Valley Pass. Um, I want to see about promoting Om. Um, or not Om, um, Lucas. Because I think I have to go back to the Thief Shrine, just like in the OG. And I might have to do a grind map. Now I wonder... Oh, we start over here, and I have to get all the way over here to promote. It's kind of annoying. It's fine. Alright, I'm gonna make a cut here, and then I'll just, like, record this off. I'll, I'll record this because I think I'll want to show off the promotion. And share my thoughts on grind maps. I'm not crazy that I have to do a grind map in order to go back to promote. But I guess this isn't really that dissimilar from the original. But anyway, guys. This is Sacred Echoes, a Fire Emblem 8 ROM hack by Hyper Gamma Spaces. Um, if this is the only way to promote, I hope there's a more convenient... I wish there was a more convenient way to do it. But I understand. Um, but anyway, guys. Until next time. Be safe.